Hey everyone, it's Dina. I want to talk about another new tracing tool. It's called Trace um, Magnet. So what you want to do is go over to your little toast icon to open up your <laughs> trace panel. Truly, it looks like a piece of toast, right? Um, so this is called Magnet Trace, not Trace by Magnet. Kind of the same thing, but whatever. Um, so this is a really neat tool, and um, I can see how it can be used if you're wanting to make, like, cupcake toppers, edible images, or something like that. So think of an image that is grouped together, a picture, a photo of somebody that you only want that one person, um, or that couple, um, that silhouette, whatever it is, you want to extract that one thing from that photo, okay? So what you're going to do is go to your trace options, click on your magnet, Go down to Magnet Trace and then move your cursor over to your image. And I want you to watch what happens to the cursor as I move it around. Notice the red dot, okay? So I, all I'm doing is just moving my mouse left and right. And you can see that that red dot is being attracted to the lines of the image. Wherever I'm pointing my cursor, that line is now sticking, quote unquote, to that red dot or vice versa. The red dot's sticking to the line. Okay, so this gives me the ability to, wherever I click, the system is then going to trace that item. And it's going to cut out everything else. Now I realize it's not exact for that shape, but you get the idea. It's going to cut out everything from that specific piece that you want in that image. Okay, let me just undo, control Z to undo. And let's go through that again. So let's say that I want Pippa's head, Peppa's head, Pippa, Peppa, whatever, it's a pig. Um, so you go to your magnet trace, click on the button that says magnet trace, and then just start outlining your image. And the more clicks that you make, the more control that you have and it might take a little maneuvering. You can see how it's a little wonky, right? Um, so you might not get it exact, but this is going to get you a roundabout shape that you can work with. All right, it's really rough, but you get the idea. Personally, my preference would be to use the standard trace and then do a trace and detach. Or if you wanted to use the trace by color, there's also a trace and detach for that option as well. Um, it's kind of cool, I can see the benefits of it, but I personally like the trace by color and the standard trace better. Just my personal opinion. If you find something um, that you can use this with, I would love to hear how you've used this. Thanks for watching, guys.